everybody. This is Derek at ScreamingGoAirsoft.com, and I have another review for you. Okay, now um, some of you have I threw that paper down. Some of you are um, you've had problems fitting your battery into your gun. Is that true? Or do you have battery not fitting in gun syndrome? Well, guess what? There is a box specifically designed for you. It's called the PEQ-2, okay? I have one right here in the box, unopened. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, we're gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show you what's cool about it, and show you how it works, basically. Okay, so um, let me zoom in on it so you can kind of see it this kind of a distance. All right, this is the PEQ, basically, what a PEQ is, is a box that has like a um, laser built into it that would uh, laser target so that you attach it to your gun to shoot a laser, infrared, so that when you're wearing your night vision goggles or NVGs, you can actually see the laser and your opponent who's not wearing night vision goggles will not see the laser. So it's kind of like it doesn't give away your position and things like that. Um, it does more than that, but that's what the box is. Now, I'm going to, um, but in Airsoft, almost always, the PEQ will store a battery for you. Um, this is the PEQ-2. Let's open it up and take kind of a look at it. Okay, it's in this real thick rubbery case. Awesome. Okay. This is the PEQ. It's a plain black plastic container. But what's really super cool about it, it comes with this these stickers right here. And they say danger, laser, and all that stuff. And you would put those on this to make it look like a real PEQ. You might even take a little paint and touch up some areas, make it look like it's metal or worn. Uh, that's something you could very well do. I probably will do that. Um, you know, it looks like there's a turny knob here and a switchy thingy there. Does nothing. Remember, this is just a battery box. Okay, for your AEG. Okay. On the bottom, it has a rail right there, and you would attach that to your, guess what, rail. Okay. Now, this is the problem that I have had in the past, and I'm going to kind of relate this to you. This is the problem I have. I have this M4 uh, S system, right? This JG, M I can take this magazine out. Oh, look at that. No, back, no BBs. Okay. I can, I got this JG M4 S system, right? Okay, great. No problem. It's an awesome little... Um, toy and then when you go to put your battery in I don't know you can't really see that but basically I open up the bottom uh, rail and it opens up like this Boop. great okay it's designed for a JG 8.4 volt battery okay standard sm super small type battery that will fit in there just right. The bottom of the barrel is cut just for 8.4 and everything's great, right? And it'll fit in there and this thing will close on up and I can get all kinds of uh, game time or whatever with my batter. Now, I don't ever like to use 8.4s. I always like to use 9.6. So here I go. I grab a 9.6 battery. You'll know it's a little bit larger. 8.4, 9.6, right? Okay, so I take the 9.6 and I throw it in there, and guess what? It does not fit, okay? My 9.6 battery is too big for this battery compartment. Damn. Okay, so let's try something else. I said, okay, let me get a 9.6 nunchuck battery. That goes in most M4s, you know, across the sides, of, you know, in the, in the front guard. You put it on the left and right side of the barrel, you know? Well, this does not work because this rail system actually has all kinds of metal protrusions and bars and everything, that won't work. So I was like, damn, I can, I can put that in there, but I gotta I force this thing closed and push on it and it likes crunching things up. 
So I'm like, okay, for me to get a 9.6 battery, I'm going to need a PEQ box. Okay, so I'm just going to close this up. Well, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to have my battery wire. Uh, never mind. I'm just going to close that up. Okay, um, the PEQ box. Let's put it on this side just so you can see what's going on. First of all, I gotta open it up. I gotta take the PEQ box. All right, to remove this back panel on the PEQ, you unscrew this top screw. It's really in it like an adjustment knob, but really on this fake PEQ, it's just a screw. You unscrew it, take this out, it's just a screw, and the back will come right off. Okay, there's a little metal plate holding the back thing on. Now, that just leaves you with this ginormous, I don't know if you can see this, just a big empty box. Now I can put any type of battery that I want in there. Okay, let's try that 9.6 small type. Wow, it fits in there. Maybe two of them would fit in there. Hmm, let's look at this 8.4 side by side. Yes, <laughs> I got an 8.4 sitting right here and a 9.6 sitting right there. That's ginormous. Okay, what I am planning on using in this box is a 9.6 2300 nunchuck, which is pretty large, okay? Fits in, lots of extra room. I will probably have to put a little styrofoam or something in there, maybe a little something, to, so it doesn't rattle around on the inside of this box. Okay, the wires come out this little notched groove right there on the side. Okay, let's notch groove it. Okay, groovy. And then I take the lid and put it back on and screw it in place. And guess what? Voila, I've got a PEQ with a ginormous battery in it. Then you, you can, you can run your wires into your gun through any of the holes that might be running it through possibly, or you can take the wires from inside of, what do I do, close that up? It looks like it's been closed up. Oop. Okay, you can take the wires from the inside and run them to the outside so that they will hook to your PEQ. Um, you can run the wires from your box into your battery compartment. Okay, here we go. Basically, you can set it up any way you want, basically. You just set it up the way you freaking want to set it up. It's your gun, right? Okay, after fiddling with this S system, I realized that I've got a problem. When I put this PEQ box on the side, it covers the battery connector that I would normally use to open and close this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the battery first. And I'm going to have it come out the, si the, the, the bottom slash side area right there. And then I'm going to close it up. There, it's closed. So that now when I put the box on, the battery will already have been connected. So maybe you'll have that same issue, maybe you won't. If you don't have an S system, you probably won't have to worry about that. Um, you might just have a side rail or a top rail even, and you wanna go ahead and put it on the top, that's perfectly fine. If you've got sights that'll see over your peck, that would be even better. Okay, super easy. Now that I've plugged it in and I've put it on the side, everything's great. Okay, so now I've got my PEC box on the side of my gun. You see that, how it's attached to the rail, batteries inside this, not inside here, and does not interfere with my sights, does not interfere with my sling mount on this side, and I can put a ginormous battery in there. Okay, so then I can get in there and start up aerosoft and bam, bam, bam. You know, you get the idea. All right, well, that was the PEQ2 review and how you attach it to your gun. It's pretty 
obvious. It's pretty simple. Um, and how large it is and how to open the back of it to get your battery in and out of it. Um, actually, if you want to le leave your P, well, no, I guess you'd have to undo it. Uh, you could modify your wires that your wire connector is actually outside of your gun and not inside your gun and then you wouldn't have that problem having to open up your rail system all the time you know like like I will um, I'm probably not going to put the PEQ on the side I'm probably gonna put it on the top or the bottom that way I can always get to my battery compartment you know uh, the two the two knobs on the left and right that opens up my battery so I can get, in, get into my battery. All right, well, thank you for coming out and checking out this video. And remember, guys, uh, we pre pre really appreciate that if you would subscribe. And when you're on the airsoft field, remember, guys, play safe.